reportedly having trouble selling his million dollar NFTs. Many in the public eye are having trouble understanding what NFTs are. Here to explain the whole NFT situation, senior NFT correspondent, Nicholas F. Turner. Hey. Walker, Rachel, good to be here tonight. Yeah. How's it going? So, um, what exactly is an NFT? Great question. So I want you to imagine you're a big fan of me, so you want to buy a picture of me, but you want an official one, so you buy an autographed one from my website. But get rid of the physical copy, rip it up. It's in your email now, completely digital. Also, stir frying a Bitcoin for good measure. That's an NFT. Hmm. So it's like uh, an autographed JPEG? I mean, that's a bit reductionist, Walker. It's much closer to a JSON pointer with a little bit of JPEG thrown in there and like some extra graphics generated by leveraging blockchain technology. Hello. How did you get that from what he said? Um, Walker, it was pretty obvious. Pay attention next time, maybe? Jeez, this guy. Anyways, Nick, um, do you think NFTs are overvalued? Oh, yes, most definitely they are. But also, they haven't reached their peak in value yet, though. Hmm. That's kind of two completely conflicting opinions. Well, yeah, that's how business works. You've got to diversify your products, industry, and your opinions. Oh, uh, yeah, that makes sense. They taught us something like that in my intro to econ class. See, Rachel gets it. Currently, what I think is missing before NFTs can really take off, there needs to be a social component to actually get them in. So you can flex mm -hmm. NFTs on each other, you know? Okay. Um... So you see, the reason is I feel like there's just an issue because of the fact that nobody can flex an NFT on each other. The way that you really get value from a product is that you need is that you need a way to flex people. There's only two things that is still driving people. Food and flexing. Hmm. I don't think that's right. That's an interesting I... theory, Walker. Anyway, at the end of the day, if you really want people to get into something, the way that you get them invested is they need a way to flex it. Flexing drives economies, it gets people interested in things, it gets people married, divorced, remarried. Flexing is life. <laughs> Where did that come from? That makes total sense to me, Mr. Nicholas. That makes a lot of sense, I think that human cognitive bias is the basis of all business. See? That is the key. It's my death in the middle of the night, that's right. Rachel understands. Right now, there is no meaningful way to flex an NFT on anybody else. That's why I decided that I needed to fix that. And I came up with this. Wow. What is that? I call it the non-fungible frame for non-fungible tokens. It's brilliant. Thank you, thank you. That just looks like you put a, an iPad in a frame. No, <laughs> sorry. The frame can be misleading. This border around this NFT, that's the non-fungible frame for non-fungible tokens, or the NFFF NFT for short. Hmm. So you see, each one of these frames is custom designed by artists and graphic designers that specialize in hyper-realistic wooden frames for pictures. And because of the fact that the frames are way more expensive than the NFTs, if your NFT has a frame, it's a massive flex to have one. You're, you're telling me it's not even the frame that you're selling. It is the border around the frame. That is correct. It is way more valuable this way. Look at it. Because of the fact that it's cost so much money to make, if you have one, everybody's going to know. Hmm. So you're selling a JPEG around another JPEG! <laughs> no, okay. Walker. I'm selling a PNG to put around a JPEG because it supports transparency, mm. unlike JPEGs, and 10-bit color depth. Yeah, you know, PNGs are always my favorite file extension. That's not a then, thing. Rachel, you're going to love this. Everybody at home, right now, live on the air, I am going to drop my very first set of NF F NFTs and NFTs. All you have to do is cash at me at Nick's NFTs and NFFF NFTs right here. Or don't have cash app, that's A-OK. -okay. Leave a briefcase full of money behind the local CVS, I'll pick it up, and I will email you your NFT and NFFF NFT. Remember, folks, NFTs are nifty, but NFFF NFTs are nif nifty. All right, senior NFF NFT correspondent, Nick F. Turner.